Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg. And yesterday, the folks at Colorado State, our friends Philip Klotchbach and company, uh, really, really kept their forecast for the rest of the tropical season unchanged from their July update with 18 storms still in the forecast. Nine of those becoming hurricanes, four of those major hurricanes meeting category three or higher. Now, so far we've had four name storms plus that tropical system that we had in January. So that'd be five total. So, you know, you look at this, we still have a long way to go and it's going to be an interesting setup because on one hand, we have a strong El Nino developing really for the peak of the hurricane season and just history itself will tell us, hey, when you get an El Nino like this, especially potentially a strong one, the numbers of storms in the Atlantic would typically drop due to some higher wind shear. However, on the other hand, well above normal Atlantic sea surface temperatures, Caribbean and Gulf included in that as well, but they're not just well above average. We're talking record levels of warmth for our ocean waters. So how this plays out will be very interesting. A lot of scientists are waiting to see how over the next few months this does play out. But now that we've gotten into August, we really start to get into the meat of the hurricane season. Nine, over 90% of the storms are going to form between now and early October, and it really just kind of opens up to everywhere in the Atlantic Basin. And here is just the percent. You know, the percentage of storms that form in August, 30% or 27, and then 34% in September and 17 in October. So you can see here is really the meat, uh, the peak of the hurricane season as we're slowly beginning to slide closer to it. Four names down. We don't know how many to go. Uh, maybe we can leave it at four. That would be great. But I will say this. It's actually pretty quiet right now, and it looks to stay that way for the next week or so. Plain as day, you can see all of this dust coming off the coast of Africa. My goodness, here are the Cape Verde Islands. So you're suppressing a lot of this tropical wave activity moving off the coast of Africa. The northern Atlantic has seen a disturbance here and a disturbance there. It's pretty quiet right now. Nothing doing in the Gulf and the Caribbean as well. And that's a okay by all of us. We know that. Watch the tropics. We're going to roll right through next Tuesday into Wednesday, and not much is expected. Nothing is really expected to develop, so things should stay quiet for at least another week. Thanks for logging on, and have a great weekend.